Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So good day po everyone. So today um, we are in GeoGebra because uh, what we will be doing now would be um, finding the slope. Finding the slope of a line using the um, the graph of the line itself. Okay. So this would be a three part um, video was separated by two videos, uh, three videos. This first part would be using the graph. So we have three methods, okay? Using the graph of the line itself. So let's say we have this uh, given um, line, okay? So when it comes to, ano kasi, to linear equations in two variables, all given lines will have its own slope, okay? So the very first method is just this simple counting. Nagbibilang lang tayo and it's actually quite easy having the formula of m is equals to rise kung ilang beses ka umangat rise over run kung ilang beses yung um, tinakbo mo okay horizontally okay so the rise is just simply the vertical count and the run would be the horizontal count count of what so our aim here is um, to go from this point going to this point okay or we can do it vice versa it would be the same naman okay so let's start so let's count but before we do count i will just have to remind you that if you're counting upwards it's positive if you're counting downwards it's negative counting to the right would constitute to a positive count and to the left would give you a negative count okay very important now let's start counting so from this point, we need to go here to the second point. So what do we need to do is we need to calculate yung kanyang rise and run. So we can either go up agad or we can go to the side. So it does not matter because you are just simply counting naman. Okay, so let's try to go um, to the right immediately. So let's count the run. 1, 2, 3, 4. Sorry, uh, let, me, let me make that precise a little bit. So we are counting per ano ha, per unit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then you stop if you are already um, parallel or you are already aligned to that point. So counting this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, you moved eight units to the right, positive to Lisha. Okay? Now we go up. One, two, three. Four, so you went up four units. Okay. So having this substitute in our rise over run, that would be positive four and positive eight. Okay. So this would be our slope simplest form. It's one half. Okay. We always have to take the simplest form, and this is our slope. It's actually quite easy because you're just counting. If you would say, I'm um, sorry, what if I go from the for this point, like, wait lang, let me undo this one. But if I would want, sir, to start from this point, going to this point, okay? It would still give you the same. But you will notice here that the slope would have an initial sign of negative. Kasi you will be going down, then you would go be going to the left. And remember, if you go down and you go to the left, you would have a negative slow, uh, negative count and another negative count. But they are both negative, therefore, it would always give you a positive answer. Okay? So, let's undo this. Now, let's have another example. Sorry, another example. Say our line is like this. Um, this and here. Yeah. Say our line is like this. Let me just... Yeah. Yeah, let's, one. Okay, there you go. Our line would be like this. So, Start counting, may it be from this point to this point or vice versa, it would still be the same. So, counting po, let's go down, 1, 2, going down gives you a negative count, and going to the right, 1, 2, 3, 4, gives you a positive count, giving you a negative 2 and 4, our rise, the vertical count is negative 2, and our horizontal count is 4, positive 4, giving us a slope of, negative one half okay so it would be the same parehas lang yan um 
Kasi it's just the simplest form, okay? And the method would be the same as well. You're just simply counting, okay? So, I hope you got that. Let's have another example kasi it's just quite easy lang naman. Counting from up, down, or left, right. Okay, just remember guys, while I am undoing these things, if you go up, positive. If you go down, then you are negative. Right, positive. Left, negative. Okay? Now, what if your, your line looks like this? And let me, uh, let's have it like this one. Yeah, horizontal line. A straight horizontal line having no rise. Because you will notice, everyone, that when I try to find for the rise, there's no rise. Because they are already aligned to each other. So basically, the rise here would be zero. But how about the run? The run would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so that would be from the left. Uh, from uh, going to the right, I mean. So that would be 6 units. But in mathematics, if you divide 0 by anything, the answer would be 0 still. So meaning the slope of a horizontal line, this horizontal line would be 0. And this would be an established fact. Okay, this would be an established fact. That I will undo this one muna. This is an established fact that any horizontal line horizontal, okay, horizontal line will have a slope of 0. Automatic po yan. Okay? And as for the other, yung counterpart niya, if you would have any vertical line, the slope would be, let me just write that down, The slope would be something. The slope would be something. But I will not uh, denote it yet. I want us to find what is the, uh, the slope. Okay? So, again, let's try counting. Okay? As for this one, sabi natin, when it comes to finding the slope, we need to find the rise over run. You will notice here that the rise here is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The rise is 6. And but the run would be 0. Why? Because they are already aligned in the x-axis, so that would be 0. And dividing 6 by 0 will give you an answer of undefined. Because you can never divide by 0. And this is an established fact again, that any vertical line, may it be on this place, may it be moved here to here, long as it's a vertical line, or may it, if I would want, I would extend my points farther away from each other, but if it is a vertical line, it would be undefined. But if the case would be like this, sabi niyo, sir, it's, it still looks like a vertical line, but if it is not straight, okay, it's not um, parallel to the y-axis, it's definitely uh, not undefined, okay? It's just straight like this, okay po? So again, for horizontal line, the m is 0, for vertical line, the m is undefined. And this would be another established fact that if your line, if your line is going, okay, if your line is going to the right, your slope would be positive. And if your line would be going to the left, your slope is definitely negative. Okay, these are established facts. Just, just an easy way to find the sign of your slope if your um, line is not horizontal or vertical, okay? So again, finding the slope of a line using the graph is just simply counting the rise over run. That would be all. If you have any other questions, you can chat on our group. Thank you for listening, everyone. And assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.